Guitar playing to me is something that has been in my life since I was very young. I come from a very musical family. And I never really got interested in guitar playing until I saw girls playing guitar and then I was like, oh, that's cool, that's something I can do. It's like I play guitar like a cave woman or something, you know? <laughs> like I just, I'm just like, and sometimes it works. I played acoustic guitar for all my adolescent through teenage years, and I have this theory that the way like girls are raised, like we're like taught to be kind of like polite and like not like piss too many people off. So I don't know. I just like never like thought about like having an amp in my room and like turning up super loud and like pissing off the neighbors, you know? I first started really playing electric guitar when I met my bandmate Julie, which was about five years ago. When I met Julie, we just really like instantly clicked and we're kind of like opposites in a lot of ways, but really similar in other ways. And there's just like this sort of inexplicable alchemy between us. The first time I played Ernie Ball strings, I probably wasn't even aware I was playing them, to be honest. Cause like I said, I grew up in a musical family. So there was just always guitars around. And I can recall like random packets of strings floating about. And I certainly have like recollections of seeing Ernie Ball packets like as a kid. In the more recent years, I've been playing loads of Ernie Ball strings. I really love thicker strings. I usually play 11s. As long as they're like at least 11s, I'll kind of like experiment within that. Julie and me, we really work well together. I have a lot of ideas, but they're kind of a mess. Like that's just kind of how my life is. And she helps me to sort of like organize things. But we also just share this very rebellious spirit. We always wanted to do music that really like said something and makes a difference. A rule we came up with like very early on as Deep Valley was like no apologizing at all like for your playing. Our band's like a hot mess, you know? We like the chaos. We never want it to be too easy. We like that sort of unexpected magic that happens in a live show. Like sometimes when we mess up, that's when the cool stuff happens, you know? When you're like covering your ass like at a show and you're like messing around with pedals and like shit's just going haywire. And then you get off stage and people are like, that was so cool, what was that? And you're like, that was me like totally messing up and forgetting the song. We try to get that to come across in all of our recordings. So that was like early on as a band. I feel like a challenge if you're like really a live band who really like feeds into that like energy and chaos of a live performance, then the recording process can be a little tricky because it's sometimes hard to capture that. For us, it was really just about like keeping a lot of the idiosyncrasies and some of the like happy accidents and like mistakes that would happen on the record and not like quantifying or perfecting things. When you're playing songs, you know that's super meditative. 
when you're being spontaneous with it, that's just really magical and exciting. When I look at a guitar from afar, I can have like some sort of weird relationship with it where it's like taunting me or like something. Be like, you should practice more. But when I'm actually like in the moment, like playing guitar, it's the fucking coolest thing ever. Mm -hmm.